Hi Year 7, so today we're going to be looking at the function of different types of specialised cells. So the first thing we need to do is our retrieval practice. For this session you are going to need something to write with, so a pencil or a pen. You're going to need some scissors and you are going to need a piece of paper. You might need more than one piece of paper. Make sure you've got all this before we start. Okay, so now that you've got something to write with and something to write on, I want you to have a go at these retrieval practice questions. So use your knowledge organiser to help you. The first question is asking you to calculate total magnification of a microscope with an eyepiece lens magnification of 10 and an objective lens magnification of 20. So look on your knowledge organiser, look back at your previous work you need to find out what calculation you need to do to work out the total magnification of this microscope. Question two asks why we use chemical stains when preparing specimen to view with a light microscope. So again, that's going back to last session. So use your knowledge organisers and use your books as well if you have them. So take a few minutes to complete these questions, write them down, write down your answers, write down your working out, Pause the video and then we will go through the answers. For now, pause the video and try and answer these questions. Okay, so if we move on to the answers. For question one, the calculation we should have done is eyepiece lens magnification multiplied by the objective lens magnification. So using the question, we had an eyepiece lens magnification of 10 and an objective lens magnification of 20. So our calculation is 10 times 20, which would give us 200. So the total magnification of that microscope would be 200, it's times 200. For question two, we would use a chemical stain when preparing a specimen to view under a light microscope to allow us to see the different parts of that cell clearly. So it's to allow us to see the different parts of the cell clearly. We stain them so that they stand out more. So if you got those questions right, make sure you tick them. If not, make sure you correct them. Okay, so today's LO is to understand the function of specialised cells. So we all need to write that down to understand the function of specialised cells. Pause the video and write that down. The success criteria for today, which you don't need to write down, are to be able to identify different specialised cells and understand how their structures enable them to do their job. So a specialised cell is a cell that carries out a particular function. That's the definition of a specialised cell. I've put on the screen five different images. These are all specialised cells. What I want you to do is one to five, use your knowledge organiser to name the specialised cells. So use your knowledge organiser to name these cells. Pause the video and have a go. So one to five, name the cells. Okay, so the first of our cells was the red blood cell. Okay, here we have the diagram. Here we have the name of the cell. A red blood cell is a cell found in the blood of animals. It carries oxygen around the body to the cells. The function of a red blood cell, therefore, is to carry oxygen. The special features it has allow it to perform its function. Okay, so it has a large surface area. This means oxygen can pass through. Okay, so more oxygen can pass through if it has a large surface area. It contains a pigment called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. This actually joins with oxygen. So the haemoglobin allows 
the red blood cells to carry the oxygen. It joins with the oxygen. And the red blood cells also have no nucleus. That means there's more space to carry oxygen. So what I want you to do is draw a diagram of a red blood cell, write the name, do it in this format like a table, write the name, then write the function, and then write the special features. What I want you to do is when you've done all four, cut them out, okay? Cut them out to make four separate cards. So diagram, name, function, and special features. And then what I want you to do is put them to one side. You need to keep hold of them. We're going to make these cards for every type of specialized cell. So pause the video, do your diagram, the name, the function, the special features or the structure, cut them out and put them to one side. Okay, the next one we have a nerve cell. So a nerve cell is a very long cell found in animals. It carries messages to and from the brain from other parts of the body. So the function is to carry nerve impulses to different parts of the body. And the special features are that they are long, they have connections at each end and they can carry electrical signals. Again, we need to make our card sort. So diagram, name, function, and special features or structure. Cut your cards out and put them to one side. Next, we have the male reproductive cell, also known as the sperm cell. A sperm cell is a cell that contains the genetic material of a male. So the function is to reach a female cell and join with it. The special features are that they have a long tail for swimming and they also have a head to allow them to get into that female cell. So they are going to fertilize a female egg cell. So they need to swim to the cell and they need to burrow into the cell in order to fertilize the cell. So again, make your card sort, diagram, name, function, special features or structure, cut them out and leave them to one side. So pause the video and do that now. Okay, the next type of cell is a root hair cell. These are plant cells that are found in the roots. It does not contain chloroplast. The reason these cells don't contain chloroplast is that they are in the roots, they are in the ground. No light can get to these cells. Therefore, photosynthesis cannot take place. So these cells do not need chloroplast, they don't have them. These cells take in water and minerals from the soil. So their function is to absorb water and minerals and their specialised features are a large surface area. So you can see here, the surface area of this cell is large, okay? This means that more water and minerals can be absorbed into the plant across this surface area. So again, Diagram, name, function and structure. Cut out your cards and put them to one side. Pause the video and do that now. Okay, the next type of cell is also found in a plant. This is a leaf cell. So leaf cells in plants have chloroplasts. These plants, the leaves, are found on the upper part of the plant. So they will be in the sunlight. So they can absorb the light needed for photosynthesis to take place. So we say they can photosynthesize. So photosynthesize. Okay. 
The function of these cells is to absorb the sunlight for photosynthesis to be able to take place. The special features or the structure is that they have a large surface area and lots of chloroplasts. This means that they can absorb as much light as possible. So again, make the card sort, diagram, name, function, structure. Pause the video and do that now. So this table is actually on your knowledge organizer. We have made it into a card sort, okay? You have got animal cells and plant cells. What I want you to do is use the cards that you've made, shuffle them, and then try to match the pictures with the names and the correct structure and function. So try and match them up, put them into piles. So we should have five different piles for the different types of cell. You need to match the diagram with the name, structure, and the function. So pause the video and do that now. So now we're going to answer these questions. So the first one, I want you to continue the card sort until you are confident that you know which cell does which job. So you need to be able to complete the card sort first time and get all of the answers right. So continue to do the card sort, repeat it, shuffle your cards, try again until you are confident that you know exactly which cell does which job. So pause the video and make sure you do the card sort until you are confident. Next, we're going to describe what the role of a red blood cell is. So this is the function of a red blood cell. Then we're going to explain why the red blood cell has no nucleus. So this is the structure and the special features. And then we're going to write a letter to a friend explaining what you've learned about today. Okay, so have a go at these questions, pause the video, and then I'm going to go through the answers with you. Use your card sort, use your knowledge organizer. Okay, pause the video and have a go. So the role of a red blood cell is to carry oxygen around the body. Okay, that is the role, that is the function of a red blood cell. See, the red blood cell has no nucleus to increase the amount of oxygen that can be carried. That is a special feature that allows it to carry out its function. So there's no nucleus to increase the amount of oxygen. There's more space for oxygen to be carried, okay? Then for D, we've learned that cells have special structures which help them to do their job. What you should have done in your letter is included as many examples as you can. So you have five examples. If you included all the examples and their structure and their function, that is great. If you haven't included all five, you need to edit your letter. Okay, you need to edit it and make sure that you've included all the examples we've gone through in today's session. So if we go back to the success criteria for today's session, you should be able to identify different specialised cells. That's what your card sort has enabled you to do. You can identify different specialised cells. You can also understand how their structures enable them to do their job. So your card sort tells you the structure and the job of each type of cell. So you can match them together and you can explain the structure and the job of each type of cell. 